resistance band, and I've never used a resistance band, but I'm gonna try to do it. We're gonna see how it goes. Are you ready? I'm honestly kind of scared for this because like I, I dance, I run around, I'm very active, but I don't do like weights and things that take muscle. So we'll see how this goes. I'm very concerned, but let's do it. And if you have a resistance band, do it with me because I'm trying a new activity and I'm kind of worried about this because this is, there's a lot of resistance and I'm very worried. Let's see what the exercises are. Okay, so you're supposed to go like this, and then pull it out. Okay, I don't know how many I should do. I'll do like 10. I got a new profile picture and I really like it. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, I really like your profile picture. Is that you? I like that you show yourself, it's awesome. You are so cool, you have the best TikTok, by the way. I lost count, I think I'm at five. Is that what I'm at? Five? Six? Seven? Eight? Nine? Ten. Okay, let me see what else this thing says. There's a little book, so I'm gonna just see what they say and do it. Let's see. Oh, bicep curls, so let's see. This is going to hurt. Honestly, my arms might be really sore in the morning just doing these 10 exercises because my arms aren't that strong. Advice on strict parents? Ooh, that's a rough one. Ooh, okay. So advice on strict parents, it's really hard. Um, I think number one, try to have empathy for them and see where they're coming from and like realize that they only want the best for you, like realize that they're doing it because they want to help you and they just want you to be a good kid and want you to do the right things. But don't be afraid to talk to them and be like, you're kind of do overdoing it a little bit. And if you could step back, that would be nice. Or if you could not be so hard on me. I mean, strict parents is a really broad term, so it depends on what you're talking about. But if you do talk to them, don't do it in a disrespectful way. Like, don't talk back to them. Just try to have a mature conversation and see how it goes. Or if you have the type of parents that it's like you just don't even feel like you can talk to them, or if you say one thing, they're gonna be really, really mean. Maybe just like stick it out till you're 18, and then when you're 18, run for the hills. So that's another thing to do. Because it really, it depends on the situation. and I mean, you know your situation better than me, but just realizing how will they react. And if you talk to them, it depends what they're being, what they're being like strict about. Because if it's about grades and they're like, oh my gosh, you need to have straight A's, like just be like, you can talk to them and be like, look, I'm trying really hard, I'm trying my best, like, please don't put added pressure on me because when you put added pressure on me, then, you know, it makes me feel like a failure and I'm trying really hard. And then hopefully they'll understand. If you have nice parents, which hopefully you do. But if you have mean parents, just stick it out till you're 18 and then when you're 18. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it's true, sorry. Is that bad? Is that bad? But yeah, but also like avoid conflict with them, you know? Like just try to follow the rules, get through it, and yeah. I'm sorry you have strict parents. Having strict parents is like the worst. I don't, it stinks, it really does. And avoid conflict and avoid violence in your life too. Like with friends and not even physical violence, just conflict in general. Just avoid it forever. My most favorite TikTok video I made was when it was snowing. Oh my gosh, I saw that one. It was so cool. It was to the Justin Bieber song, right? That was really amazing. I can't believe it was actually snowing where you live. I'm kind of 
I'm not that jealous because honestly I'm happy it's not snowing where I live because I like the sun but the snow looked so pretty where you were. Thanks for the advice, girl. I hope it helped. It was probably really bad advice, but I tried. Because it depends on the situation. But hopefully it was good advice. Hopefully I didn't ruin your life. It's like one time I did this meme, and this was like, I, I posted this meme probably two years ago. But it was this meme of like, um, Whenever I give my friends advice, I end with IDK, though, so I'm not responsible if I ruin their life. That's kind of how I feel right now. <laughs> but hopefully I said the right thing. Did you learn any new Arabic songs? I haven't. I've actually never listened to a, an Arabic song. I know. I know I need to. Okay, let's try this one. Woohoo! I don't know what this is. Oh, and another thing that I wanted to say about being healthy was that, you know, a lot of people who are younger and like teenagers think they can get away with everything because they're young, but it's really good to start healthy habits young because then it's easier when you get older because if you fall into bad habits when you're young, it's really hard to recorrect the habits when you're older, you know? So if you already like eat healthy and take care of your mental health and know how to manage your stress. Like, you're just gonna be such a better adult. You know, you're gonna be the queen of adulting, you know? Okay, the other one, the next one says I'm supposed to shoulder press this, but honestly, I'm really scared to because I feel like it's gonna break, you know? But should I try it? I'm really scared. Because that's always, I get so scared of these things. I'm just like, it's gonna break and that really scares me. Should we try it? I'll try it. Oh, another good thing for your health is laughing. Laughing is the best medicine. Oh, somebody said that was bad advice. It was bad advice. What advice would you give? What advice would you give? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's gonna break. It's gonna break. Oh, it did break. I was really scared that it was gonna break. It's not breaking, it's not breaking, it's not breaking. <gasps> don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Oh my gosh, thank goodness it's not breaking. Why are my, why are my arms like shaking? Oh my gosh, what is happening? I have no upper body strength. Oh my gosh, don't break, don't break. It looks, it, doesn't it look so thin? Doesn't it look like it's gonna break? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> that was scary. How many did I do? Did I do four? I think I only did four, so I feel like I need to do five. Only five. Oh, here's another good tip. Five. Oh my gosh, so scary. Um, oh, I have to go, I'm writing a new song. That is so amazing. Definitely write songs. Writing songs is awesome. If it breaks, it's really gonna hurt. I know. That's why I'm so scared. But also remember, for your mental health, laugh. I already said that. But, because even, I feel like I've gone through phases in my life where I've gone like a year without laughing. And it's really sad, you know? Just laugh, like, I, I don't know. Find something funny. Find like a comedy or a comedian who's funny who will make you laugh. Because it feels so good to laugh when you're, when you're down. You get tired more, oh, when you talk while you work out. Yeah, that's true. I should just shut up. I'm bad at that. I'll send you a pic of the lyrics when I'm done. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that you're writing songs, because I think writing songs is so good for your mental health. And even if you're not a songwriter and you like don't really know. Oh, should we try another one? Ooh, look what the girl's doing. She's like going up. Let's try that. Because even when you don't write songs or you don't know how to write songs, just if you can get a paper, get a piece of paper and just like write how you're feeling. Like just if something happens or for example, if somebody does something to you or like if you have strict parents and they're really like bugging you and you just need, you're really frustrated and you need to get something out or you're just feeling really, really 
insecure, it can just be so nice to just get a piece of paper and write everything down. And it can make you feel so much better because then it's like a release and then like all the, that pent up frustration you have inside or the insecurities or whatever, you just write it down and you get it out. And then it's like, you get it out and then you like throw it away, forget about it. And you're like, that's lies, that's not true. And you got it out and it really just can make you feel a lot better. Um, I mean, it's elastic. If you keep stretching, it's going to eventually break. I know. And doesn't it look so thin? Like, I can't believe they're even recommending these exercises going so far. And I'm not even a tall person. Like, imagine if I was 5'10", lifting this thing over my head. I mean, it would have to snap. I, I don't know about you, but I get so scared when they're balloons. And he, here's the thing. I love balloons. I love balloons more than anything. I always get so scared they're going to break and pop. Ooh, or like if you blow up a balloon, I always feel like they're going to blow up in your face. And it really scares me. Oh, tricep extensions. Let's see what this one is. So it's like this. And then you pull out. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, thanks for doing the arm pumping emojis. Rusted.hassan5. I love it. Yes, we're getting very, very strong. I think there are different sizes. Yeah, I don't even know what size this is. I have no idea. But it's pink, so that's cool. Ooh, another thing to do if you're feeling upset and you want to feel better is this one doesn't work for me because I don't have a pet. But if you have a pet, it can really help. And that's what pets are for. You know, if you have a bad day at school, I, d I totally lost count of how many I did. Does anybody know how many I did? I don't think so. I'm gonna say I did 10. Now, like, this side's gonna be really strong and this side's gonna be weak, sad. Haha, <laughs> I'm also scared of blowing balloons. I know, it's scary. But spending time with your pets can be really awesome if you have a bad day, you know? It's like, that's what they're for. I don't have a pet, so I don't have that option. So when I have a bad day, I just go on my phone. Yeah. Sad. You did four? I only did four? Really? I thought I did 10. This resistance band thing takes a long time. Oh well. I love you too, underscore Kendalusha. Anyways, I have to go. But thank you so much for watching this. Hope you got some healthy tips. Hope you're feeling healthier, you know, with the end of this year, with the song, feeling good. And thanks for doing resistance bands thing with me. I mean, my arms actually kind of hurt, to be honest. So let's see how strong. Woohoo!